Hi, and uh, welcome back. Mark Edmonds here, the sad artist, with Mike, the other <laughs> sad artist. <laughs> hey. Well, uh, how have you guys been doing? Because we've been doing great. So we're, we're here to talk to you about our collaboration, what we've had done. <laughs> we made an art. Yeah, here it is. Um, now, I like my work to be uh, quite ambiguous, but Mike always likes stuff to look like stuff. So uh, that was uh, the trade-off that we had there. So I hope you can see that. Uh, yeah. So Mike, what happened first? Well, basically, I just had a canvas and I didn't know what to do with it. So I just came up with this idea that we'd just try a collaboration. I've never really done a collaboration before, so... It basically went, I did a little bit, left it at Mark's door in the studios, he did a little bit, passed it back and forth. I think kind of, it yeah. would either be, we never spoke again, <laughs> <laughs> or we created something that was half decent. Uh, I quite, quite like it, and I don't like a lot of things. I'm quite uh, picky, if you saw a better word. I like it. Well, uh, that's pretty good. Um, well, me personally, I, I, I I, find a, I thought a collaboration was quite a good idea because you often get to a point in a painting where you're not really sure what to do with it. At that point, I usually stick it on the wall and look at it for a few months and then go, ah, you know what this needs, it needs this. But in this case, every time I just got stuck or bored, I just gave it to Mike. <laughs> Some, I'm not going to lie, sometimes I'd walk into the studio because I usually at the studio quite late, so sometimes we don't meet. So if it gets left by my door, I was like, Oh my god, what's he done? <laughs> but then that's good because you can either go, up, you've got to go with what's there, especially because Mark uses resin, whereas I'm more spray paint or uh, I use crayons on this as well, which I don't normally use, uh, which was funny because they were your crayons and I, I asked if I could use them and I quite enjoyed it, so you can see maybe a little bit here. Um, I don't know if it's oh, like you're spoiling the magic, man. Yeah, like yeah. Revealing the trade secret, you've got to get, get Crayola. Get Crayola. Crayola. What about Crayola? Badass Crayola. Link at the bottom. No, I'm joking. No, there's no link. No, there's no <laughs> sponsorship yet. Like, no, no. We're working on it. We're yeah. working on it. Crayola sponsorship. An animated Crayola pencil just goes in across the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Just buy some shit. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So, Mike kind of did the, uh, the first layer, and there was spray paint plenty. And I thought, you know what, this looks like fish swimming under the surface of a pond. So I tried to go with that, uh, but then I ended up just resining the crap out of it um, with some relief layers. And uh, this is where we've got this kind of nebula view. And you've got the, um, the little, might just put these little spray paint bits in at the end. And it just looks like a, um, stars in a nebula to me. Yeah. So I think that's worked out very nicely, to be honest. Um, why not try doing a collaboration with someone you know? Uh, doesn't have to be an artist, could be a mum. Yeah, well, yeah, to be honest, it could be anyone. Maybe it's even better if it is someone that's completely different than you, knock you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Um, or, or, for example, uh, I know a lot of people that do collaborations with musicians. Uh, somebody sends you a, a tape of their work and you listen to it while you're painting or sculpting or creating something. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't have to be a direct collaboration, you don't have to work on the same project, but um, yeah, mm. it's, uh, it's possible. And I, found, I found it quite interesting in a way because when I suggested it, instantly I thought, what have I done? Like, this isn't going to work because I'm quite a perfectionist really, um, which I don't like. But in a way, I think because I didn't, I'm going to use the word care as much, not that I didn't care in the way of I wasn't going to put any effort, but I just thought, let's just see what happens. It's, it's, there's no client, there's no deadline, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, and in I'm, a way, it's quite relieving that I just pass well, back and forth. I, and I got the mix wrong on some resin as well, and I didn't really care, because it was just a collaborative project, and it seemed to work all right in the end. Yeah. Because uh, I just, this was uh, it's some epoxy, uh, and you can see it's sort of uh, semi-transparent, where um, I, I didn't put, um, I didn't, Mix up. <laughs> I, see, I see that as either a, a, a cloud, yeah. if you wanted to rationalise it, or even a planet, maybe, I don't know, that you're on a planet and you're looking out. To me, it's very Star Trek. Oh yeah, next gen. Mm. Love it. Original. Like, I can just see Captain Kirk karate chopping an alien in the neck. 
or, or just dropping on somebody with his ass. Yeah, one of those fights. It's, um, have you ever seen the one with Spock and? Yes. Uh, and it's have a, I ever seen? What's that the one? what's the song that? They're, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, maybe we should just do a little extra bit at the very end of this episode, where it's just me and you like joust you know, whatever they want to call it. <laughs> to that music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my what? god. <laughs> we should do it. That's I oh, can scrap this entire episode and just replace it with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah, I think we're we're definitely gonna go go for that. That'd next. be funny. Yeah. So what 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 does the future hold for our collaborative process, Mike? Maybe we could do another one? Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll start another one. It'd be interesting that if the, if once you if we did another one, would it how would that feel? Would it would it take, look a lot like this? Would it look completely different? Would it have more pressure? So would you be a bit different? Would I be a bit different? Like you said this but for you was a bit of a mistake. But I Happy like accident. It. Yeah, yeah, but I think in uh, most of art it's a, a bit like you went when you wet yourself in the swimming baths. Happy accident. What? <laughs> that should be the name of this piece. Happy accident. Happy accident. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is. I was going to call it Nebula because it's like a nebula. Was this my canvas or yours? I can't remember. Um, I thought I'd give it to you, but I'm just starting to think. No, it's got a name it, says, that. it says, yeah, no, I, I stole it. Ah, so I completely lied. The only reason I just remembered that is because he's got something written on the back. What, is, what does it say? No, 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 don't reveal that because that's actually somebody's art we've nicked and gone painted over. Right, okay. So, yeah, I don't, I, don't need, I don't need to get really upset. It was a terrible painting, though. This is way better than what was underneath. <laughs> So remember kids, if you see terrible art, paint over it. Yeah, unless it's this piece then don't don't paint over it. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Just just tell us it's terrible in the comments, which I'm sure some of you will. Yeah. The um, power of the internet. <laughs> so uh, that's uh, yeah, I think I think we should call it call it a day there and, and then we should fight the sticks. <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs>